In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Turn our hearts to you, Eternal Father, and grant that seeking always the one thing necessary and carrying out works of charity, we may be dedicated to your worship. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people saying, this day the Lord your God commands you to observe these statutes and decrees. Be careful then to observe them with all your heart and with all your soul. Today you are making this agreement with the Lord. He is to be your God, and you are to walk in his ways, and observe his statutes, commandments, and decrees, and to hearken to his voice. And today the Lord is making this agreement with you. You are to be a people peculiarly his own, as he promised you, and provided you keep all his commandments, he will then raise you high in praise and renown and glory above all other nations he has made and you will be a people sacred to the Lord your God, as he promised. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. You have commanded that your precepts be diligently kept. Oh, that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I will give you thanks with an upright heart. When I have learned your just ordinances, I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers and sisters only, what is unusual about that? Do not, be, do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect." the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel passage, Jesus calls his followers to a standard even more incredible than those of the scribes and Pharisees, for whom a fundamental commandment was, you shall not kill. Jesus' call goes far beyond that to the basic feelings and passions that lead people to kill others or to put the lives of others in danger. Indeed, deep-seated attitudes and emotions must be addressed to prevent evil actions. We must work to renew our hearts, our minds, and our souls. The fundamental renewal Jesus is calling forth from us is not something that we can bring about by our own efforts alone. We need the power and the grace of God's Spirit to help us make that happen. We already know this in the words of the well-known prayer, 
Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. This prayer asks the Holy Spirit to recreate deep within us the love that is God. It prays that the roots of that deeper virtue and standard may grow within our hearts and minds and help us to become what God truly wants us to be. Recognizing our need for the mercy and grace of God, we now turn to him with these our prayers that through the mission of the church, the love of Jesus for sinners may be evident to all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those in every office of public service, that their role in society may serve justice and reflect the healing hand of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that national and international issues may not be clouded by the personal animosities of our leaders, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who have died and gone before us marked with the sign of faith. In a special way today, we remember Antonio and Teofila Leiba and their children, Teresa, Manuel, Corazon, and Alfonso. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing facilities or hospitals, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we ask you to hear the prayers we bring before you this day and to answer them according to your most holy will and help us to follow your will in our actions, in our words, and in our thoughts. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these blessed mysteries by which we are restored, O Lord, we pray, make us worthy of the gift they bestow through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. On you stay. Qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui toles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Show unceasing favor, O Lord, to those you refresh with this divine mystery and accompany with salutary consolations those you have imbued with heavenly teaching through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Please bow your heads for the blessing. May the blessing for which they have longed strengthen your faithful, O God, so that never straying from your will, they may always rejoice in your benefits through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.